let's see. See, I'm not liking the way that wool looks right there. You kind of want to poke it in to the contour of the shape. It's a little rough there. All right, and now. All of this side of the head is now missing so take a little brown and your raw sienna mix it together and it's hot today humid I can't sit here with the fan on or blows everything around. So I'm gonna poke that back in here so it looks like it goes under the ear. Let's see. I'm gonna pull a little bit of this forward. Ah, look how that created that. Awesome. Markings kind of comes up like that and over. You don't want to really use too many straight lines, you start to make the dog look mean. I don't want that. All right, so what I will do, I'll put a little more dark in there to define that. Get this off of here. So let's see, take just a pinch of this because it needs to be darker, not too much, that's probably too much so just comb some of that out of there. These are called accents, your darkest dark and your lightest light. And that just pushes that back in there a little more. Okay. So I'm going to trim these guys. And if you trim them too short, just do it again. Who knows? Wee. You see, I'm not just cutting it off straight. I'm cutting it like, you know, like this. That way I can get... I can keep going until I get it the way I want it. Pull it off so you can see what you got left. All right. Now, I want to kind of make it go this way a little bit. So I'm just going to do that. Follow the contour of the ear. And look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, now, let's see if I can trim this off a little bit. Get this out of here. Calm that out. 
Now, and there we go. I'm gonna do the other side. And then I'm gonna do his body. A little sunny. Okay, today I have finished up what I was working on, which is the little King's Charles, King Charles Cavalier. This is Sonny, and I put him in sitting in there looking like uh, he's looking back at us. So I used the Sienna and brown and then I I did his mouth you know and uh, I still think I have a little poking to do he's stuck in there with a nail and uh, that's one I got commissioned to do four so I still have I think a little bit of contouring but I wanted him to be in position inside the frame so that he looks right. And then I got his tail, which you can fluff if you want. All right, so that's Sunny. Then I did uh, Brioche, which is this uh, Basset Hound. <laughs> so he's kind of cute. You know, I even did his toenails, as you can see, and then put all the dots on him. This is uh, his picture. Let's see if I can, there he is, if you can see him. And so I put him in there. This is for her husband's birthday gift. They have four dogs, so. This one took some time. I mean, look, I got the little paw down here, his tail coming out, put him in the frame. And I guess they're gonna be set up as a grouping, so I don't wanna do them all facing the same direction. Now, this is what I'm working on, is this dog. I think his name is uh, Bing, the black and white. Whoops, can you see with the uh, reflection there? All right, that's, uh, I think his name is Bing, the black and white dog with the long hair. So I'm gonna do him standing the other way and looking out, and then we'll put them all together. And then I have this um, golden retriever to do. You know, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do him yet. So that's what I'm working on today.